So hi, Micro Hunter here and uh, today I want to talk again about uh, microscope camera systems and specifically I want to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of using uh, DSLR uh, cameras, digital single lens reflex cameras and uh, many microscopists have also connected uh, to a microscope like I have for example myself here um, but there are also other alternatives like uh, microscope cameras which are more compact which can be either directly um, connected either to an eyepiece just like this one here or also to a photo tube and in recent years those uh, microscope cameras have become more and more advanced with uh, many more features so the question is now is uh, should you buy one of those microscope cameras or should you simply stick uh, and uh, try to adapt a DSLR camera over an adapter uh, to your microscope and of course uh, as so often no system is 100% perfect um, and it depends very much on your individual preferences. Well, and this video is in response uh, to a question that I received uh, because one of my viewers of my videos wanted to know is it better to actually use a, a modern uh, dedicated microscope camera which H with HDMI and, and uh, where you can save everything on a chip card and everything or should I go directly uh, for a DSLR camera and yeah. That's the reason why I decided I'm going to make a video to explain some of the pros and cons. So, um, if you look at uh, a camera like this uh, slightly older model here, um, I'm not going to be talking about those here because uh, this one here can only be connected uh, to a computer using USB and this is already a disadvantage of this camera here is because uh, I can have no possibility to directly connect it to a television or a computer monitor over HDMI. It does not have an HDMI connector. So the only way that I can get a picture out of this here is uh, by connecting it to a laptop or to a computer. And I, the camera is then controlled um, over uh, the computer. So I can do all of the exposure time settings and everything over the computer and I can take pictures. And those pictures are then saved to the computer. There is a problem with these older cameras. And the problem is that uh, it's US got USB 2.0. More modern ones have USB 3.0, but this one here is still USB 2.0. And this one is uh, too slow to capture HD video. And that is a disadvantage because, for example, in my case where I do YouTube videos uh, under the microscope, I want to have a proper frame rate and a proper resolution and um, USB 2.0 is simply too slow. However, um, there are now more modern microscope cameras uh, with more features and uh, they are now a little bit um, going into the direction of what DSLR cameras are able to do. And some of the features are, um, for example, that they do not only have a USB connector, which you can co connect it uh, to a computer, of course, they have got HDMI and it is also possible to uh, save the pictures directly um, on a uh, chip card. And some of those cameras also allow you to connect a Wi-Fi dongle and then transmit the pictures uh, wirelessly to a computer. Um, so the modern microscope cameras can do a lot of things but some of these things traditional, not traditional, the modern DSLR cameras can also do. Um, so that's a little bit the question of what you want to have now. First of all, um, one of the um, advantages of the modern uh, microscope cameras is, is that you can connect them to over to HDMI to a computer monitor or television without the need of a separate um, computer but you can do all the same thing with the DSLR cameras because many of them already also have an HDMI connector so if you want to do microscopy for example um, not by looking through it but uh, on a screen or if you want to use it for education to demonstrate certain uh, specimens to a large group of people for demonstration purposes you of course want to do a live stream because then many people can watch uh, the things that you see right away so that is uh, clearly a big advantage but um, I would say both of these modern microscope cameras and the DSLR DSLR camera is pretty much on an equal level here. Um, there is, uh, however, um, one difference and that is, is how those uh, two cameras are controlled. Um, and uh, this camera, as I mentioned, you need to control it uh, directly over the computer. But now there are companies that are manufacturing now microscope cameras where you can directly connect a mouse to the microscope camera because all of the, um, the, the menu and so on and everything is controlled uh, by the camera itself. So it actually contains a computer. So this is also hugely uh, an advantage because you don't need a, um, a separate computer standing around and you can do exposure controls and everything directly um, you using a mouse controlling the camera which then saves the image on, on the chip card. 
that's pretty cool. Um, now, what about the DSLR cameras? Uh, the DSLR cameras, uh, you can make all of the adjustments also directly on, on the camera. But when I control my exposure, I just rotate uh, a wheel and then I can uh, adjust the exposure. But uh, using those microscope cameras, you actually get a full menu. This can be an advantage or a disadvantage. Um, it's also a question of personal preference. Uh, I think uh, that uh, because I myself am taking a lot of pictures um, using uh, the camera, what I do is, is I quickly just sit down here and I just reach up and do all of the exposure controls because I already know which buttons and which wheels I have to uh, press. I can do it directly uh, sitting down. And this is of course a huge um, advantage using the DSLR cameras. And in the other case, you have to simply uh, yeah, control the mouse, uh, use the mouse uh, and then control the menu that you are displayed on the computer screen. My camera that I have here is does have a flip out screen. And this flip out screen has an enormous advantage in that, that I can actually see directly on the camera um, the picture that I'm filming or where I'm taking photos of. And that is also important because um, I want uh, to do all of the controls and all of the, the settings and so on. And I want to see that it's properly exposed and I can see this directly on the screen. And then I simply reach up and I release the camera or I press the record button and then it will record it. And I'm not dependent on a separate or larger uh, monitor or screen um, for me to actually control a menu because I simply do everything um, in, in the camera. In that sense, the camera is a little bit self-contained. Um, flip out screen is, is pretty pretty good and pretty nice to have because I actually can look at the camera and at the screen um, using uh, I don't have to stand up and look uh, look at it from the top right so I, I, that's uh, one of the things that I like so uh, generally that is um, nowadays you see there is a lot of um, similarity now between those those cameras and uh, concerning the features but there is one thing that um, one has to consider a little bit when when buying uh, those uh, when trying to connect the DSLR camera is, is you need a proper adapter okay now in my case this adapter here is an original Olympus adapter and there's also an intermediate optics in here which is designed to be used for DSLR cam for, for cameras um, and uh, so the whole system works uh, toge together quite well and I'm getting a pretty good image quality. Um, and if you buy yourself a, um, a microscope camera here then it also comes already with an optics uh, that is uh, designed uh, to actually uh, work, uh, work well with the camera. Um, in this case um, it's just an eyepiece camera where you just plug it in okay in here um, you can also uh, put it in at the top but actually the more um yeah, the more advanced cameras, what they have is, is they have a so-called a C mount, which is then um, yeah with a, a screw mounted on, on the photo tube. Okay, so that is really fixed. And what I'm doing right now is, is I'm uh, doing all of the, the exposure control and everything with my camera um, up here. I'm, I'm taking the videos and the pictures, and then when I'm finished with my session, I, t I take out the chip card and I download it at, uh, at my computer. You can yeah buy generic adapters like this one here, which is much more compact, and there is an adapter ring here uh, which is uh, camera specific so in my case for the Canon cameras I've got a T2 adapter ring which uh, is uh, screwed on here and then this uh, goes in as well theoretically you could also plug it in here instead of an eyepiece but I would not and the cameras here I would not do that because of the heavy load that is then um, on the microscope so it's better to still put it on here on the top for stability purposes um, but what I found out is uh, that while this gives a pretty good result it's only pretty good it's not excellent okay so with some objectives, um, the optics, they don't quite cooperate quite well. And there's some blurriness and fuzziness on the corners with a four times objective. Also could be a problem with, uh, um, with that it's not a plan objective. Yeah, but it's, um, I'm getting a better result uh, f uh, with the optics and the adapter and everything being from the same company than just using a generic one. But uh, considering the price difference, I mean, these are relatively cheap compared to the whole thing, thing that I have here. So it actually might, uh, might be a, a a workable solution as well. Yeah. So, what else uh, do you uh, could I say? Um, yeah. Um, advantage of a camera, of course, is is that uh, you can uh, use it also as a regular photo camera, but it is not as compact. And if you mainly want to use the camera for live streaming or for displaying a live image, then I would say that a, a DSLR camera is probably a little bit somewhat of an overkill.
hill um, then you simply might as well connect a um, yeah a microscope camera that's simply set up and everything and then you switch it on and then you have already a live image but if you want to take a lot of pictures i would say um, i consider it more i personally consider it more convenient simply to take a picture by reaching up to the camera and, uh, and exposing it than probably having to control the the release um, of the picture and the filming using a mouse even if the mouse is not connected to a computer but to the camera itself um, I would say as you can see it's a question of taste um, I, I would probably say um, and it depends a little bit uh, what you want to do most uh, and if you're willing to spend the time uh, learning how to if you don't know how to learning how to you operate a DSLR camera or learning how to operate the menu of a um, of a microscope camera so that's pretty much all I have to say here um, yeah I wish you all the best I hope it was informative uh, and happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time bye bye